Hi, I'm Adam Culp, and you're at BeachCast. Let's talk about replacing a temporary variable with a query function call. Stick around, and we'll get right on that. Welcome back, and welcome to another video in my basic refactoring series. If you want to see other videos in this series, I'll link to it up above, so please check out that playlist and you, you can see all the videos in this refactoring series. In this video, we're going to replace a temporary variable with a query function call. Others call this replace temp with query. In this example, what we're going to do is we're going to take a temporary variable that has been created to carry a value and then we iterate over that temporary variable and each iteration we add more and more to that variable and then we end up outputting the variable as the ending value. In this case it's going to be calculating a price. Every iteration it adds a new value to the price and then outputs the total. In the previous videos we were using a code base that I have out on GitHub it's my Refactoring 101 repository, so please go out and check that out. I'll make sure to link to it down below so you can check out the code. Temporary variables can be a code smell, so we try to keep them cleaned out and only use them when we absolutely have to. Often, this means using a temporary variable as you're starting to develop, as you're creating your code, and then later on, you come back and you clean out the temporary variable and replace it with some other coding method in order to obtain the same thing. Many times, a temporary variable, it's carrying some value or doing something and causing your function to do more than one thing. So let's take a look at some code and how we might clean this up. I'd like to take a moment to introduce the sponsor for this video, Cloudways. Cloudways allows you to focus on your business and avoid web hosting hassles. Go live in minutes by selecting your application, selecting the vendor your server should be housed with, then select the server size for your chosen provider, and you're ready. Please use the affiliate link in the description below to support the Beachcast channel and to claim your one month of free hosting. In the code in my Refactoring 101 repository, I'm going to be using the file that starts with 007. Um, and it's the extract method code, but it's the extract method already being done. And it's ready for the next phase of our application. So let's, let's scroll down and take a look. If I come down here to the statement method, I'm going to see what I wanted to focus on, which is this total amount. So we have total amount, and we're starting it out at the beginning of the statement method as a zero value. And then you can see here we're doing a for each, and in each iteration of the for each, we are adding on the rental get charge. And then after everything's all said and done, we're actually outputting the result of that uh, temporary variable as the amount owed for, for this rental. Also, if you notice, the frequent renter points follow the same pattern. In, in we, we define the frequent renter points. We're adding frequent renter points for each iteration. And then down here, we're outputting the result of frequent renter points in the statement. In all, we have a lot of lines of code that are being attributed to creating the charge and creating the frequent renter points. And those things are then put into statement. So our statement is actually doing a few different things right now and can use some cleanup. So to start with, I'm gonna create a new method to do this. So I'm gonna go down below here and I'm going to start uh, putting in public function and get total charge because that's what this function is going to be doing. That's what the method is going to be doing is getting the total charge. Same as we did in the statement method where we had the temporary variable, I'm going to use that same temporary variable down in the function. So I'm going to bring that down and we're going to follow the same sort of pattern. Uh, what I can do is just copy this for each in its entirety and do that down here as well. So I'm going to be using the rentals object and iterating over rental. I'm going to take out frequent renter points because I don't need that and I don't need this extra, uh, the extra title being added in either. So it's going to be just a for each. So I'm going to, we're going to do for each. We're going to take the temporary variable total amount 
and we're going to add on the uh, the results of git charge iteratively and then the end result is it's going to return and it's going to return the result. Now one of the things I want to do is as part of that is I'm going to take this this amount that's going to now become result and change result up here. So now we have result we're putting it as a zero value value we're iterating over each of the rentals and then we're and we're creating the the results so that way we can output it out we're we're adding value to it iteratively and then we're outputting it essentially we're doing kind of the same thing we were doing in the statement method but it's being done here in its own function so it's easier to track it's easier to test it's all right here stored in its own little uh, encapsulated method here. So coming back up to the statement method, now I can clean out the temporary variable. I don't need that there any longer. I can also clean up where I'm doing the calculation for each iteration of the, the for loop, the for each loop. So I'm going to clean that out. And then down here where I have the result uh, and we're, we're outputting this, what I need to do now is make a call to the function. And I'm going to do that by calling this get total charge just like that so now it's going to it's going to get total charge then it's going to come down to our method which is then going to iterate over the the rentals and calculate the total charge okay so i've skipped ahead just a little bit and what i've done is i've cleaned up the frequent renter points similar to how we did with the charging so now if we, if we look at our statement function now it's a lot cleaner we have the result being put out as just uh, an identifier. We're, we're still doing a for each loop here over the rental and we're outputting the title and the charge for that item. And then we're putting out, uh, in addition to the result, that result, we're also putting the total amount and also the total frequent renter points accumulated for this rental. And then we're outputting the result. If we scroll down now, you see we have a get total charge and a get total frequent renter points method, two different methods, and each one of those also iterating over to calculate the full charge and also the total frequent renter points. And so now each of these items are testable on their own. They're able to do their own thing. And our statement is a lot more cleaned up. Still have some refactoring that we can do here, but this is how we do the replace temporary variable with query. Replace temp with query. I hope you found this useful. If you did find this video useful, please give it a thumbs up down below. And remember to subscribe so you'll be notified the next time I create new content. I'm going to link to another video up here in this refactoring series. Please check out that video so you can learn more about refactoring from the basic refactoring series that I've made available as a playlist here on YouTube. Thank you for coming by. Be good to yourselves and others, and I'll see you next time.